Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk to Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I I am so grateful for being here with you. Today is going to be absolutely amazing. I've got messages and everything that is going to be impactful for you. And so let's get to it. First and foremost, I want to let you know that I get your messages, I get your calls, and thank you for messaging me and and emailing me. Um, if you don't know me, I'm your expert hypnotherapist, Lisa Bubari, and guess what? Today we're going to be talking about something that is uh, very profound and yet so simple because it's about words, how we use words, how it makes an impact in your life. So. Um, to start off, I want to say thank you so much because uh, I was at an event actually this just last week. I got two wonderful, um, two different people who are, I believe, pillars in my community, uh, give me a not a testimonial, but they shared how my messages make a difference, that they do watch my videos on Facebook and one even on video afterwards, not during this time, because not everyone can have uh, the time to come on on Hill Talk Tuesdays at 12 o'clock on Tuesdays, but you do watch. and she was saying how impactful they are and um, that they make a difference. Uh, one of them said, I know I don't write anything and most people may not be writing, but keep doing it because the messages truly resonate and she has shared it with someone else. So again, I want to say thank you, which reminds me how much of things do you do in life that people don't recognize or don't say anything, but they do appreciate you. And you don't feel it, you don't hear it, you don't know about it, but you know what? Keep doing it. So most likely it's not news to you that words truly matter. Everything I do as a clinical hypnotherapist, when we do the hypnosis, when we do the power uh, suggestions on our audio recording, even with uh, talking with clients from the moment a client walks in from what they want and where we take them, you know, where we guide them to tap into their subconscious mind, it is a shift. So it is a shift from where you are to where you want to be. And we always take you to where you want to be for the better, right? Because that's the change we want to make in our life, always for the better. Now it could be healthier or not, or it's good for you or not for someone else, but it's better for you. So, and words, it's all about how we perceive our world and ourselves. And that's what this email that I got, it was an email that I received to prompted me. And I want you to, I want to read a part of this email. It says, Dear Lisa, I am so happy I got to watch self-care and self-love segment you had on YouTube. So not on Facebook, but later on on YouTube. My question is, I am so frustrated with my sister that even seeing her makes my skin crawl to a point I am anxious for the rest of the day. What can I do to control the situation? Margaret. So, hi Margaret. If you are watching this, 
during daytime or YouTube. I hope what I am about to say, not only to you, but anyone who's watching this, makes a difference. First, the two words, I am. I want you to become aware of how powerful the words are. Not only I am is validating who you are, not what you are, because you talk about seeing your sister makes your skin crawl, which is an, a physical reaction to the words you speak. And it's not so much the words you say, I am, are you? Are you this all the time or only when you see her? It is only when you see her. But when you say, I am anxious for the rest of the day is because you carry that moment and the skin that affects your body throughout the rest of your day. You can stop it from the moment you do not see her. So the control is in your hands. You are in total control of if how it affects you and how long you can carry it. You can carry it from the moment you are no longer seeing her, put a period right there, or allow it to continue affecting you all day long. So that's where I want to start because I want to go further into this word I am. As humans, we enjoy defining so much. The world is in a pretty click crazy place nowadays and knowing what and who we are helps us deal with this chaos, especially when it comes to definitions that we have and clarify the words because the word I am can enhance and clarify something or limit you, right? So let's say I am an only child. It is a fact. So the truth and the fact, it's how we define the word I am. When questions, because the two words are so powerful, it's also a process and you can begin to validate, to understand and become more aware of how you use the word. Uh, which reminds me, if you go to the uh, the lisabubari.com, I have a blog and yesterday's blog was all about my 33 day uh, process. When you continue a thought, a decision, when you want to make a change for the better or any change in your life, go check out my blog and it's the 33 day habit, how you can change a habit from zero to something that you want in 33 days. And that's changing a habit. And when you continue three times that, which is over three months, it becomes 99, right? And nine becomes the process of birthing and completion. It becomes your new way of being and behaving, not who you are. Again, not the I am, but the process. So let's talk about using these words of I am as an unconditional and avoiding the truth or not. When someone is a mother, I am a mother, a husband, a sibling, those are truth. So there is no doubt that you are all that. When asked, so who are you? What do you do? And we respond. And if you respond, I am a writer, I am an attorney. I am, and you finish the sentence with the titles that you have as work that you do, or I am a runner, I am a tennis player. 
Is that who you are? Is that a fact? Because are you writing all day long? Are you playing tennis all day long? Because here's a simple way. When they ask me, so what do you do? Who are you? And I say, by trade, I am a clinical hypnotherapist. Who I am is a human being. I'm a daughter. And that, again, is a title. And yet, I am a daughter to my mother all the time. It, the fact that I am a daughter does not change. So, statements might refer to part of who you are. And it's not all of who you are. Here's another thing. When you say, I am anxious, you start validating being anxious all day long. And you get to own, I am anxious. Just like someone who says, I am fat, I am ugly, I am not worthy, I am broke, I am sad. We get to own the I am's. And everything is not an I am. You are not sad all the time. You are not broke all the time. You are not fat all the time or ugly all the time. So if you are overweight, if you are feeling my body is fat. I am, I am in this body. So I want you to differentiate the things that who you are all the time because our weight is like a yo-yo. We can be sad and when we see something beautiful or makes, our, makes us laugh, we laugh. That means it breaks the sadness. You can be sad and laughing. I understand. It is not who you are. So, um, it's I am, insert the adjective. And the more you start identifying yourself with that trait, you realize that you take ownership of the I am. Um, I am strong, I am beautiful, I am overweight, but I can control. And if I am out of control, let me find out how I can take control. And that's exactly what you asked me. How do I control this? And I want to say thank you, Margaret, for uh, the email, because not only you said the words, I am anxious throughout the day, I want you to know how you can control is by recognizing it affects your body, your organs. And when you say it, it makes your skin crawl, that means you are now aware how it's affecting your body and you can make the change. You can make sure that where, when you go somewhere that your sister is not there or you can, here is the magic of what um, self-hypnosis can do. Um, if you want to do meditation or you use the 33 journal by the empowering words that I will be more than happy to share with you and everyone, it can start making an impact in who you are, validating it with more positive powerful words that empower you and impact the who you are okay practicing this can help you use and shift your perception truly shift your perception of how your sister affects you or her existence in that time and space affects you because she cannot affect you all the time you're not in front of her 
in her presence all the time or when you think about her and here's the thing just the same way the word love we use so many of us use the word love all the time we use it I love this glass I love my flowers I love you I love okay do you really love and we use it with our children with other people and again to punish or to say I don't love it is different I've shared this and it's the same thing as I am but in a different way when we want to justify something uh, you can turn around and say I love you who you are and yet I did not appreciate what you said and what you did so it's the action I am a woman I am a daughter by trade I'm a clinical hypnotherapist or whatever it is it's a title that I have taken on and yet when I want to say I am brave is validating that I am brave I am strong I am beautiful and that is who I am and I say those words to empower the inner self and to remind myself those are who I am and when I start owning that it becomes more powerful for me because everything starts with you for you to believe in who you are and when you say the words oh gosh I'm so stupid are you stupid or you said or did something that in your perception or somebody else's perception was stupid it's not who you are it's what you said or did and the same thing with our children or siblings or anyone it's like oh you are so whatever right are they that all the time all the time no we get angry when someone uh, cuts in front of us and we yell or we get upset and all that stress factor or the road rage that comes out and people say everything are they that or it happened at this moron when we say you're such a moron are they is that the word that they are all the time or they just did something that according to you morons would do it's the action not who that person is because I don't believe that person is either good or bad all the time so I hope that makes a little bit of an more clarity for you or anyone watching this because the words I am it is I am of God I am a child of God I am this and that truth does not change everything else which is words to describe or to clarify to justify our actions our words or what we say and do will change can change our habits our behaviors and therefore what we believe in ourselves so as always words are so powerful and I truly want you to be more kinder and loving towards your skin which is your biggest organ in your body that everything you say makes an impact not only what you hear what you see in front of the mirror and I have this thing I used to say ah, I'm such a klutz but I was not 
I may be glutzy at that very moment, or I am a procrastinator. Am I a procrastinator or I have tendencies to procrastinate at certain things? And we will be talking about that habit and that behavior more in the coming sessions. So again, today I want to finish with a small little guided visualization. And if you are somewhere that you can take few moments, just two moments, two minutes, um, take a two minute break, sit back, relax, take a nice deep breath and exhale. One more time, nice deep breath. Bring it in, bring in oxygen and vitality, fulfill this body of yours. And exhale, releasing, letting go, letting go of all things that is not really important at this moment. Not at this moment. Just give yourself two minutes. And when you have a, a moment to smile, Become aware of your body, no matter where you are, that you are safe. And gently close your eyes. That's it. And just listen to these words. And you can use these words at any time to empower yourself, to validate yourself. And we start. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am valuable. I am free. I am successful. I am talented. I am loving and lovable. I am healthy and in shape. I am positive and smart. I am passionate. I am strong. I am confident. I am safe. I am secure. I am disciplined. I am determined. I am kind. I am patient. I am victorious. I am beautiful. I am attractive. I am happy. I am energetic, I am loving, I am forgiving, I am forgiving, I am motivated, I am focused, I am generous, I am patient. I am empowered. I am well able. I accept and appreciate myself for who I am. I am proud of myself. These I am's, incorporate them within yourself. You can use the 33 day method and repeat these suggestions over and over, daytime, nighttime, before you go to sleep. 
and realize that the more you use these words, your subconscious mind will come to believe in who you are in a kinder, loving way. Because that is how you were born. You were loved from the moment you took your first breath and you were placed upon your mother's bosom. You are not an accident. You are love. Take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, release, let go of all negativity and self-limiting beliefs. And starting today, every day in every way realize that you become better and healthier better than yesterday not as good as tomorrow and yet you do matter you matter to you to your loved ones and yes to many more who may not say it who may not show it but you do and I want you to start this belief system from you so as you place your hand upon your chest you say these words every day in every way I pledge allegiance to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. I am. And when you are ready, you can just open your eyes, smile, and know that you are deserving of so much more. Spread your arms, smile, and when you are ready, you can get up and face this beautiful world, this world that can be impacted by you with one word, make a difference not only in your life, and as they say, change your word, you change who you are. And when you change who you are and the perceptions that you believe about yourself, you change your surroundings. And that changes the rippling effect someone else. And that someone can make a change in someone else. And that's how we make a difference. So for today, I am grateful for being here with you. And I believe I am blessed with all of you in my life. That to me is abundance. And I look forward to seeing you next week and stay tuned for so much more that is about to come. I look forward to seeing you next week and until then god bless you and may the universal light surround you always see you then bye, -bye. thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that i've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago two weeks ago even a year ago click right here see you next time